Hi guys, this is Victoria. So today we are going to do a very quick and easy tutorial on how to do a Hello Kitty bag tag. So this is just showing you some of the designs um, and experiments that I've come out with. You can make a bracelet if you like, um, but today I'm just going to make it nice and short, show you how to start, show you how to finish, and we'll just end up with one Hello Kitty head. Now if you have a look on braceletbook.com, Search for Hello Kitty or Vicstar, and basically it's a nine row design, same as my skull design. Um, but since doing my skull tutorial, I have been experimenting more with just using the one cross band. In my skull tutorial, I showed you how to do two, they overlap through the three in the middle. So when you're going wider, you do it that way. But as you can see with these bracelets, it is a little bit obvious that I have overlapped those two center bands. So today, we're just going to use one center band. It's going to be nine rows wide. And we're going to be using the same techniques I have in my previous tutorials. So let's get started. Choose your bands, and I'll see you in a moment. I will be working with just the mixed pack of rainbow loom bands and a packet of clear loom bands that I found on eBay, just cheap ones. For the one kitty head, I will be using approximately 52 of the light green, 21 black, 1 yellow for the nose, 8 of the light blue turquoise colour for the bow, 26 white and 9 of my clear for the cross running bands. All details for band requirements as well as pattern numbers will be in the description bar below and let's get started. So working with cat bands throughout this design yet again and starting with our background colour we're going to lay a straight chain. I like to start from my second bar, second pin there, going to the third. We're going to lay nine cap bands straight down. Three, four, I do apologize for my shadow. Five, I hope it's annoying me more than it is you. Seven, eight, and nine. So on our last pin, so you should have nine bands spanning from your second pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the tenth pin, we are going to cap band, and I'm just going to double it in my fingers, and then I'm going to double it again on the peg. So around there twice. Now we're just going to loom it straight up onto itself, going behind that cap band. And working that chain up. So my last one, the one we started with, I'm just going to turn it into a slip knot. So I'll loom it up, grab that bottom band or bottom doubled and pop it over the top. Pull that tight, slip it onto the bar that the arrow is pointing to. So now we can lay our first row of our pattern. I've pushed all my bands down and this is what you should have so far, just your straight chain nine pegs. We're going to start laying our first row. So green, single doubled, going from 
your first peg to its opposing peg. We're going to do just nine green bands, which is the first row, a band for each square. So all singles doubled. And that is our first row of our pattern that we have laid out. I'm going to put a line through that. And now all I want you to do is just grab that chain on the bottom and bring it over so that it is in the middle of your bands. So bringing it over the top and dropping it in the middle. Just that bottom chain. Two outside bands. All the way up to the top. And that's what you should have. Push all your bands down. We're going to put down a clear band. Put my bands, clear bands there. So laying down a clear band, it is going to, doesn't have to be clear like I said, it can be whatever colour you choose, but we need it to stretch across the nine pins. So depending on your band choice, this will make a difference. If your bands are very tight bands, try and give them a stretch before you put them on and hopefully that you shouldn't have any problems, hopefully. So going on to our next row of our, of our design. Got that clear band on there and just your first row that you've laid out. Going straight on with the next row. For me is two greens. black, three greens, and then another black, and then another two greens. So this is what it should look like. First row of our design, clear band in the middle, second row of our design that we've just laid out. So now we're going to grab this clear band, bring it up and over into the middle of all of those bands, and then we will work our bottom row up and over and into the middle. So we'll go just those bottom double band up and over the top, straight down one side, sorry, move back in picture, and straight down the other. So doing the exact same thing on the opposite side, working with the same band, bring it over and into the middle. Push all your bands down. So laying down another clear band across all nine of those pegs gently and we will go on to our next row of our design. Starting with a green. black then I'm going to use the light blue or turquoise two of those green black white black and green. Grabbing that clear band, 
bringing it up and over and into the middle and then working our bottom row of our design up and over and into the middle down one side and down the other making sure you're just grabbing that capped band on the bottom row push all your bands down crossing off that row and laying another clear band across those nine this one's a bit tight I don't know if it's going to stretch there we go so next row starting with turquoise and a black. So grabbing that clear band again up over into the center and working our bottom row of our design up and over and into the center. Down one side and down the other. And then once again, push your bands down. Grab your next center running band. The clear band across those nine pegs. And onto our next row. So for me, two turquoise. This is finishing off the bow. One, two, three, four, five, and nearly lost ya. Six, white, and a black. So once again, that clear band up into the center and working our bottom row up and over into the middle down one side and down the other down again, grabbing another clear band, straight across those nine pegs and onto our next row of our design which has Kitty's eyes. So starting with a black band, and then onto white, and then black again. There's one eye, three white, plug my battery in, another black eye for kitty, that didn't sound good, black eye for kitty white band and another black. So that's another row done. Grabbing that clear band, 
making sure you don't lose any of your bands as you do it. Clear band up and over and into the middle and working that bottom row once again back up and over into the middle. And the other side. So now as you can see your pattern is coming through the middle nicely. I'm going to remove this end band. Just let it drop straight down. Pushing all of your bands down again. And moving on to our next row. So not forgetting to put down our clear cross band over those nine pegs. So starting with black. White, white, this is the line with Kitty's nose, so yellow, three white, And a black. And once again, grabbing that clear band up over into the middle and working our bottom row up and over that row that we just lay down. Way down and down the other side. Pushing our bands down, ready to go to the next row, laying our clear band along our nine pegs and starting with our outside colour or my background colour which is green, black. And we've got five white. One, two, three, four, and five. So that concludes all the white in Hello Kitty's face. Black, and then our background color. So green. Bringing that clear band up and over into the middle and grabbing our bottom row and working them up and over. Pushing bands down, going for that clear band straight across those nine pegs, onto our last line of Hello Kitty's head. So background colour, green, green, and then five black. One, two, three, four, and five. Two more green. Grabbing that clear band up and over our bottom row up and over.
on the other side. You can see the pattern coming through quite nicely now. You should be able to. Pushing all these bands down once again. Now we are on to just that one row of that background. So I'm going to put our last clear band and lay just one row of that green. Now this is going to be my last row of my design but you can keep going, follow on with the design, make a bracelet if you like. I'd love to see them shared on Instagram and tagged. Hashtag Vicstar for me please so that I don't miss any. Grabbing that clear band. Up and over. Working that bottom row. Up and over. And down the other side. So, if you are finished with as many kitty heads as you would like for your pattern, I'm going to stretch mine through a little bit. This is how we want to close it. We're not going to bother putting another clear down. You should have run out by now. Should be about nine in there. So now I'm going to lay another row of just that background colour. So straight over the top, I'm just going to do another row of green. Singles doubled, same as the rest of the design. So I have already laid down one line of just green, which was that row. And now I have put another row of just green. And we are going to work our bottom row straight over and into the middle as we normally would. down the other side and now to close it off what I want you to do is grab this last band up on the top and bring it over onto its opposing peg so just grab it bring it over onto its opposing peg. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab these two bands onto our hook and we're actually going to grab that next top band and slip those bands onto that band. So grab those two bands. I'm going straight down and just grabbing them onto my hook, holding them on there with my thumb, holding them on there with my finger, grabbing that next top band on my hook and just pulling it straight through those two. So once you've done that, slip that band onto its opposing peg, like so. So the bands that were on there are now on there. We can do the same thing again. Grab those two, those two bands. Grab the next band on the top and pull it through. Try and make this a bit easier to see for you and bring that band that we've just pulled through over onto its opposing peg. So let's try that again. We're going to be doing this all the way down to the end 
So grabbing those two bands on your hook, grabbing the next band from the top peg, pulling those two bands onto that band and putting that band back onto its opposing peg. And again, grabbing the two bands off the peg, grabbing the next top band off the hook, pulling it through those two bands and putting that band back on its opposing peg. Grabbing those two bands, grabbing the next band on the top peg, pulling it through and putting it back on its opposing peg. Pull the design down a bit so it's not getting in the road. Grab those two bands on your peg, grab the next band on your top, sorry, two bands on your hook, next band on the top peg, through those bands, back over onto its peg. Grab those two bands, next band on the top peg, through those two bands, and back onto its opposing peg. Last one, grabbing those two bands, top band, top peg, through, and putting it back onto its, well, what we might do is just grab that other band there, so we've got the whole thing, the last band on your hook, and what I like to do is single double, pull it through, and slip knot it. Give it a bit of a stretch. And there is Hello Kitty. This one here from the beginning, we don't really need that there, but you can use it to um, join to a keychain, join to a zipper, whatever you like. This one here is closing up our design, so we do want to hide it. Tuck it in your bands away so it doesn't get caught. And you're done. I hope you like. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check me out on Instagram. And if you do make any of these, please tag them to me. Hashtag Vicstar um, so that I can like and comment. Bye.